today's problem trying to refloat this boat that sank during the hurricane yeah looks like a good job the wind's blowing still a little bit I don't know how we're going to get it out we're definitely going to have to tie some crash pumps onto this and try and get the bottom up and just kind of rotate it around here a little bit so I might bring my other boat over and try and get some lines tied to the to the cleats over on that side if I can get in there but I think I'll have to dive on the thing to get down there so that that sounds like fun not really into that I do like diving just not in this water okay so I'm gonna try and get a game plan here uh, we'll see where it goes all right track pump is on board I got it primed, finally, pain in the ass, and hopefully the guys will be here shortly with the bag. Here they come right now, so let's see what we can do. All right, so we got Jeff here. Jeff, what's your car company? It's Man Overboard, Marine Repair and Cleaning down here in Charleston. Nice. So we got you guys down here because you got a bag. So yep. explain what we're doing right now. Uh, what we're doing right now is we got two divers in the water. We can't see. Where are they? We can't see them. Uh, it's just the bubbles. That's all you're going to see down here. Um, just because uh, one. There's one. There's one. There's the diver. What you got? And two. It's, it's, it's good. It's Pull rigged. It okay. Outside. All right. All right. So what we've done is what these guys have done is they have hooked up the lift bag underneath the gunnel on the other side. If you can imagine. This is the gunnel right here. So on the other side. On the other side. If you can the water. imagine. It's, it mirrors this. It's just like this. But it's the opposite side. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to tighten up this strap underneath it, put air to the lift bag, and rotate this up. Once so, this strap right here goes all, all the way underneath, underneath the boat. It. It's attached to the bag, and they've attached the bag here and here to make sure that the bag doesn't it's roll up. Or come out. Yep. So, the whole boat comes as one. Right. So, it rotates. And once the gunnel gets up, if you see this green hose right here. Got a trash pump. This is hooked up to a trash pump. We're going to dewater it. Once it's dewatered, it'll raise itself. We're hoping. It will. I mean, as long as just the bilge pump went, and that's more than likely due to the Debbie, yeah. what happened. So we're almost ready to go here. And, All right. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the hold up with that strap? It's the, both boats are pushed together. So, so it's no bound way. up. Huh? So it's bound up. Yeah. So basically it was what you're saying is it's tight right now. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is i'm going to hand you the line yeah. for the air i want you to hook it up to the valve all right, all right? and i'm going to tie i'm going to cleat this off watch yourself Jesus. um <laughs> let the divers so, get wet yeah. everything else you know i got charter in a half hour <laughs> yeah. all right yeah the only guy that's supposed to stay line. dry yeah. is getting we're gonna wet start putting air to it yeah and we're gonna we're gonna cleat this off and we're gonna start raising it once we have some movement we may adjust as we go Remember, do not go underneath this boat. Yeah. All right, boys. Safety first. There we go. Right. Yep. There we go. First breath of air. Slacks coming off the lines. Here it comes. Go ahead and get the trash pump on now. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alright, I gotta fire.
All right. Another round with the bag. All right, I'm going to loosen up on the line here, see where we are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know if that's even possible. Oh, that thing's locked down? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Throw that pump. Sucky, sucky. Looking good. Getting dirty. Getting close. I almost see my feet. I want to get it beyond that right there, so we're getting close. Okay, clearly I can't do two things at once. So what ended up happening here was that while I was in the boat, it started taking on water again and we started to sink. And we had already taken the bag off of the boat and we had already started taking apart the trash pump. So I kind of had to quickly put the camera down and then start getting the water out of the boat again by using the crash pump or the trash pump. But uh, we had to reprime it and my other pump wasn't working. So it was going down pretty quick. So I had to put the phone down or my camera down and sort of attend to that. So I couldn't do two things at once. And then my charter guests were already here waiting for me. So it ended up being a pretty big disaster in terms of timing, but I was able to get it in, get it up and get it raised and situated in a spot where I didn't have to worry about it too, too much. And the next day we towed it out, which I'll show you in just a couple of seconds, but that's where all the video is missing. All right, so before I forget, my charter boat clients are leaving just now, half hour late. We got it pumped out and she's floating. Ugh. Almost bone dry down there, which is good because it started to sink again and I had to jump in and resurrect it. So she's up and stable, so that's good. I've got to move two boats, but the 50 hatters that we've got to move and then once we're over there, we're gonna move escape and maybe come back. I might be able to get it through the reeds right now up to the dock. Might give it a shot with the pump out boat, but I still got a lot going on, but she's up, she's done, and she's dried out. Job done. By the way, thank you guys all for watching. It means uh, an awful lot to me. And uh, I know you guys, uh, like and subscribe but if you guys are watching and you don't subscribe please do it helps the channel out a lot and it's also um really cool i get people from all over the united states even in fact one of the divers that was on board his father i guess watches my channel so shout out to him thanks for watching and supporting us and i love the phone calls i got a phone call from a guy i don't know where the hell hell he was from yesterday about a western beak generator and uh i helped him through that so that was pretty cool so I like all that stuff. You guys have questions? Give me a call. I don't know all the answers, but uh, we'll muddle through it and get it figured out for you. So thanks for watching. Last video. Hey, Ben. Hey. I got Ben with me this morning or afternoon now. We waited for high tide. I was going to do this yesterday, but I had charter, as you guys know about, because that was part of the video. And then uh, I ended up having to move two boats solo because of the hurricane. So... What we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're going to put it right through that hole right there and the docks through the reeds. So Ben's going to take us through the reeds. He came out of the office for this. Uh, the fun stuff. Yeah. That's what gets me out of the office. When Elizabeth said yesterday, Ben's going to be in the morning. I said, I'll wait for Ben. I know he'll want to do something stupid with me. <laughs> I, mean, I could I could have done it by myself, but no. I know. I was like, well, Ben's going to do nothing tomorrow, so let's just do it together. I'm going to try to bus more 
I would say that we want to be more in the in in the clear part because that's got you know maybe eight inches because the motor's up and everything. So, so what we're trying to do is squeeze both of these boats. Maybe difficult to turn it though. It's not wanting to turn forward very easy. Well, it's because of where we are. So we can actually, if you want, we can readjust. Well, or we're just gonna we're gonna have at this. See, when you're towing, guys, you don't really want. Be, yeah, uh, you, you want to be aft of, of the boat, but because of where we were over there, we had to kind of go exactly hip to hip on this. So that's why Ben's having a little hard time here. But we're just uh, we're plowing her through. There you go. A little, yeah, a little reposition here. This is uh, one of those things you don't want to try at home. We got to do a hard dog leg over to the left here. Yeah, let's you want to redo this? Let's we're gonna this. we're gonna reposition this. All right, we moved her a little bit aft. We're a little bit aft, and you can see that it's much easier to get through here now. He's still over in the reeds. This is wide open. The dock's right over there, so got to get a little bit on it to get this thing going make the turn you can see how just aft we are maybe only like two feet now and it makes that much of a difference to get it around all right so i'm going to shut it off so we can get on the dock here almost oh you got it ben see this is why i bring you out of retirement <laughs> All right, I'll jump up. I'm going to jump over and grab it. That's it. All right, Ben, show us how to back down a creek. Woo, it's like race day. Now, at low tide, just for you guys, there is no water here. So this little channel right here is been here for quite a long time but there's literally no water on either side of us and we're doing this at a dead high tide if we had done it any other time the other boat probably would have gotten stuck and we may have gotten stuck as well so we waited to high tide i was i was probably about two hours yesterday ben past high tide yeah. and that's why i was like ah i could probably do it but you know it's towards the end of the day and i just don't want to open a can of worms so I figured uh, we'll wait and I thought low tide was this morning so but this works out perfectly I got charter coming up uh, and job is done we got it raised and tied to the dock so he can take care of that where do you want to be dropped? Um, it doesn't matter I'm gonna I'm gonna I gotta hit uh, Southern Comfort and uh, ship a fool so I mean if you wanna looks like he's pumping out there too he's got some water All right, so that's it for the video. Ben, thanks for your help. No problem. Got you out of the office. <laughs> now what are you going to do? Now you're going to go back go in the office and the office. sulk. Sit in that AC. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at that. That's how you bring a boat to the dock. Good job. Yeah, man. All right, man, we're out of here. Till the next one.